Now the but part, the yes, you can see what segments are busy, but what does that really give you? I need to identify which tables are busiest in my system so I can look at tuning them. Is this tracked anywhere? To answer this question, I've said yes, but, and we'll get to the but stuff later on, but to answer the question first, let's do a quick demo. I create a table as a copy of DBA objects table called T, it's got 80,000 rows. What I do want to know about this table is the object ID. So if I go look at user objects, I can see the object ID is 118128, and I've stored that in a SQL plus variable called object number. It's useful for me because we have a view in the database called v$segstat. And what it does is it captures information about every single segment in the database. So what we do need is the object number. And if we've truncated the table, we need the data object number that varies as we go, but I'm just using the object number because I've just created this table. If I know that I can query v$segstat. Now what's in v$segmentstat? If I do distinct statistic name, we capture all this really cool stuff. How many logical reads has a segment done? Buffer busy weights, DB block changes, physical reads, the list goes on. All these things that we used to only collect at session level, we now collect at a segment by segment level, making this task very, very easy. So as I said, we know what the object number is. I've simply pumped it into here and it says, in the creation of this table, I've done 2,400 logical reads, I've done a few block changes to build it. What else have I got? Um, physical reads, uh, physical reads, none. I haven't queried it yet, etc. So if I query the table and let's run it a few more times. So I've run that query. That's several full scans of the table. This table's small enough to fit in the buffer cache. What do I get? The logical reads has jumped up. This table's so small, I'm not doing direct path reads. Otherwise, I'd probably see it in the, uh, where are we? In the physical reads direct. Table's so small, I didn't need it. I've done no block changes. My logical reads has gone up. My physical reads has gone up as well. So these are the kind of things I'm doing with a full table scan. If I delete some rows from the table, then yes, I can now see I've done 3,700 block changes. I did a whole lot of logical reads as well because deletes have to read the data before it can be deleted. But as you can see, v$segstat is a fantastic way of tracking for every single segment all these amazing attributes that might be useful to tell you which are the busy segments in your system. This is cumulative, so what you might want to do is maybe use your AWR reports or take snapshot yourself to show deltas over time. Just to re reinforce, this is v$segstat, so the stats we gather are statistic name. I wanted to put it here so I could highlight the ones you're probably going to be looking at, which is db block changes. How many times are we mod have, making modifications to data? Logical reads, generally indicator of high CPU. Physical reads, you're working your IO subsystem. Physical reads direct if you're doing big table full scans. So it's in there. Also in the same database, you'll see a view called V$ segment statistics, which is the exact same data. But it's a bit nicer. It's the owner, the object name, the table space name, etc. Now, I didn't do the demo with this view because querying this view is much more expensive. If you come in on the object number, we can go directly into that structure. If you come in on the owner and the object name, we effectively have to do a, you can think of joining DBA objects to V$ segment stack. They can be two very big objects and it can be quite expensive to do so. If you're looking just for certain objects, I would look at V$ segstat. If you're capturing the whole copy of everything that's involved in the system, same thing, I'd copy V$ segstat and maybe a copy of DBA objects from time to time. But querying V$ segment statistics aggressively can be quite expensive on your system, but it is there, so I thought I'd better mention it. Now the but part, the yes, you can see what segments are busy, but what does that really give you? Generally, the only reason you're interested in busy segments is your whole system is being busy. It's not segments that cause busyness in systems, it's SQL. So rather than go looking at v$ segstat to say, oh yes, that table there is very, very busy. What really is, is the only reason that table is busy is because SQL is busy using that table. And you can't take a table and say, let's make it less busy. You can only make a table less busy by modifying the SQL that is running against that table 
or finding the SQLs that are concerned and if necessary, modifying the table design, but it starts with the SQL. So just for completeness, what you wanna be looking at is be the SQL for things like disk reads, buffer gets, CPU time, elapsed time, et cetera. And as we all know, I say this often when I go to office hour sessions, we should use VLOS SQL stats instead because it's more scalable, doesn't take latches, and you can query this much more aggressively to find out the SQLs that are hurting your system because if you fix them, the segments will no longer be hurting your system either.